Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Point Hope on Professional. So, it's that time of the week again, I'm heading into Point Hope. Oh, I thought I saw something. I immediately want to get out of the rain, and hey, look, it's a bone. But, I'm still playing Point Hope a lot, or at least trying to once a week, to really experience this map, because it's such a bizarrely unique map to me. But also, this tier 3 thermometer has proved to be very useful on this map. It's a lot easy to, or I realized last time, it's very easy to turn on the breaker, wait a little bit, and then just kind of start at the bottom, and then go up the floors and just find which room is cold. So, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to the breaker, which I already know is on the fifth floor. Or, well, I think it's the fifth floor. It's the, it's the bedroom, which I just, I don't know, is that my, I don't know why I think it's the fifth floor, but I, I'm thinking it is. I'm also kind of looking for the cursed item, but we already know the bone, or we already got the bone. Okay, I just want to get the breaker on so the rooms will warm up. I can't help but look around, there's no summoning circle in there. Okay, this is the worst floor for it to be on, but it is technically... It could be the best floor, because it's in the middle of the building, so... It just depends on how far away the ghost is. Since the breaker's on now, I'm gonna just kind of look through here. I'm looking for the cursed item, which... Maybe it's the monkey paw again, and... I, oh, that's locked. I could use the monkey paw again. I don't really want to. I want to try using the thermometer on this map. But yes, it is this monkey paw. Now since we used it last time, maybe I won't. But what I want to do is go ahead and walk down to the first floor, kind of listen, and hopefully by the time I've walked down to the first floor and looked around a little bit to see if the ghost is down there, everything will be warmed up. Maybe I actually should just be looking for temperatures. So yeah, see it's already 10. I think it warms up pretty quickly, and maybe it is already just pretty warm on this map. Alright, let's turn into a thermo zombie again and scan some of these floors. I have this weird feeling it's gonna be at the very top of the lighthouse. I love it to be on one of these floors. I think one of my first ghosts I ever had was in here. I remember that ghost so vividly. But yeah, every floor is about 10 already. Is anyone here? No one's back there. It does suck because I'm walking around in the dark. Yeah, I have this feeling that the ghost room is going to be way up in the building. Alright, I'm going to walk back up and see if we get a cold spike. Oh my god, it just dawned on me. All this walking around in the dark on point hope, <laughs> my sanity is going to be gone. This might be a an interesting test of trying to loop or escape the ghost on point hope. Oh my god, my finger's getting tired holding the button down. But this tier 3 does feel so nice. I don't know. It used to suck how you had to do it before, but now that you just hold it down and let it go. This is closest to how one of these would work, or at least the other one. The, like, thermometer gun. I didn't really scan too well in there. That's the door jam. Is anyone here... I wonder if it's going to be freezing cold, like, up top. I have a feeling it is up here. When I went up here and I was standing here, I thought... I thought the ghost was nearby. I didn't hear anything, but I just had this gut instinct. Oh, God, I hate that sound. Okay, I... It's not hunting, is it? This is the worst. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop this, please. What do I do with... <laughs> now I'm getting stuck on the staircase, please! I'm gonna drop this here, God. Speaking of places I remember being, I can't really drop my stuff up there. I'm gonna try dropping it here. Let me get down. I have no idea what my sanity is, but we found the ghost room. Now, what about a hiding spot? I might just... I'm just gonna have to run all the way down. Is there... that... closet was locked. There's nothing in there. I just... <laughs> I want to turn on some lights, but I don't even know if it's worth it. Let me- I don't know if this spot is ever blocked. I don't even know if this is like a true hiding spot, because I feel like the ghost could easily just walk back there, so that's why it's like a half hiding spot, like, it's not a guarantee- there is no guaranteed hiding spot, but that one's just one that you might easily die in. Okay, if somehow we're not being hunted now, I'll get out of here. I don't know how it wasn't hunting earlier. When the lights started flashing, I was just ready for it to be a hunt. But let's go see how bad Point Hope really is. For sanity when you're walking around in the dark and I'm even by myself which 
I'm pretty sure by yourself, sanity drain is supposed to be less. Uh, well, I mean, it's, I was expecting around 40. We're actually in the higher end of 60. I need a photo, prevent, and then EMF. And I actually didn't even bring my EMF in there. But guess what? We did use the temperature, and we did determine that it's already going down to freezing. Could be Revenant Demon. Well, the breaker's on, so maybe not shade, but... See? <laughs> I, I want to keep playing with lower sanity, so let's get a crucifix in there for that. And then... What's, like, the most likely it could be? I mean, everything's got four options, I suppose. Not dots. So let's bring in everything else. We get EMF, that's also an objective. And, I don't know. We can look for this, and we'll set it up just because, in case we need to set it up and then come back down, but once again, we got a ghost all the way up there. Uh, excuse me, Thunder. The only... I'm not too afraid, because I can just run all the way down the stairs and get away from this ghost. Like, I could run all the way down here and hide, and I'd be away from the ghost for sure. So this map is kind of weird in that aspect. But if I can get the crucifix up there first... Spend a little bit more time, because I'm I don't want to take sanity just yet. I need to get hunted anyway. Do we have No, we just need to prevent a hunt. Oh, it was the last game where we had all those incense objectives. Okay, starting with this level, maybe I should actually turn on some lights. Also, I am closing that door. I am not letting history repeat itself. Even this room, I'm gonna get the light on. I don't want to even try to like hide in here. But this crucifix. It's gonna cover this whole damn floor. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. That should cover the whole room. Let me scan. I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna throw this on and maybe just leave it in the floor. Now the light switch. I remember seeing ghost orbs in here before. Where's my breath, though? You didn't change favorite rooms. This is professional. You shouldn't be fa changing your favorite room that fast. Maybe it... Let me turn on this light. How cold are we? Oh, we're negative five. That's pretty cold. So then no, we, I just wasn't seeing my breath, but maybe I was looking too high up to see it. I don't know, I'm just not. Photo, photo, photo. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, I'm just ignoring this terrifying. No. <laughs> yes, I knew that stupid. You just gonna hang out there? I knew this stupid railing was gonna screw me. That's why I took another photo. I, I knew, that's why I checked. <laughs> I should have like ran away. So you're telling me there's no ghost orbs. Also my sanity. Let's get the, can I move this stuff? Well, I can move what's in the thing. Yeah, <laughs> I knew something like that was gonna happen. Oh, perfect, okay. That's kind of dumb, but I don't think there's ghost orbs up here. I think the EMF definitely would have detected something there. Let's get the light on. Ooh, was that Mare? Uh, nah, it didn't seem like Mare, but it's EMF5. Jin, Shade, Oni, your twins. Uh, you know, it. I, I thought it did two things really quickly. It did the light and then it threw something. Now I'm thinking it's twins from that. Because the twins can do two things at the same time. Or at least like one and then like immediately after. They're supposed to be like at the same time. At least that's what my old <laughs> memory is telling me of it. Is that a photo? Yay, it is. Okay, well. We have the bone. We're getting some photos. We have evidence. Wait, I'm glad I brought the EMF in here. And... How is that not a hunt? See, oh, well there's a crucifix in there, but if it hunts on another floor, then the crucifix is pointless. Okay, thank you for that terrifying uh, event. Speaking of things that are terrifying, why? I did want more photos. So good. Should I just go take sanity? See? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop getting greedy, I'm gonna leave. We already have some really good evidence, and we have a lot of knowledge on this ghost, so let me get out of here. I'm gonna get smudges rather than taking sanity. I mean, maybe I'll take a little bit of sanity to just give me a second, but that crucifix... I think it has another charge, though. Yeah, the more I play Point Hope, the more and more I kind of just get used to this. It is kind of just annoying, but it's not too bad, and it's funny that I've been playing 
Sunny Meadows and then Point Hope back to back. It's it's really fun to just kind of right now I'm playing professional on all the other maps and then I'm using like the house maps and the farmhouse maps to do nightmare. So it's really fun to just kind of experience these maps alongside the small maps like this. Now, man, we're looking so good. Should I take one sanity to just give me some time? I'm going to go back with a smudge. We have the black salt, which we should just bring that up there for fun. It's not going to be a wraith. I think it's twins because it did the two things at the same time. Well, UV, writing, dots. It's not going to be orbs or spirit box. So I still got to get... I gotta get four things up there to figure out what this is. It's not turned off the breaker, but I think it's gonna be twins. So what can this thing do for me? All, all it can do is I like, keep the ghost in its room. I really want to go up there with... Let's leave the salt for now. I don't think this is a good time to even really utilize it. I want to save the salt maybe for Nightmare, so I'm not gonna use it just yet. But hey, we'll get to use it a lot, I'm sure. So yeah, I'm happy with Sanity being there. Let's get as much stuff in there as I can. Dots, writing, and spirit box. And then I'll come back and do UV. But see, I'm going to have to come back for two more. So unless I get lucky, lucky with dots and the writing, what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get something. But also, oh, see, I don't have the lighter. Oh, my God. But uh, this is what I mean. I need to get four things up there, but I don't want to take sanity to not deal with hunts. So let's just see what happens when I get up there. See, I don't even think the monkey paw would have helped if I asked to trap the ghost because it would have not even close the door I don't think because there's not even a well there actually there is a there is a door up there but I think it's technically a different room once you go up the steps so I don't think it would have been too helpful all right I have a smudge stick for defense let's set up one of these cool new dots projectors see if we get something looks like there's a shadow right there that shadow looks like a well it's just kind of like oh my god see do I leave it like that I mean if the ghost came through here at all like that would cover this whole area so Sucks that I kind of need two. I could just, of course, leave it scanning. Also, yeah, I should just go ahead and put that down. So do we still need two photos again? This is the last game scenario. I need two photos. Give us a sign. Man, that thing. Did it just turn off like I thought? I think it just turned the breaker off. <laughs> okay, not a gin. Because I thought it was making... This was making a different noise. Not a gin. Did it do the... Air ball... I don't think it's done an airball yet. We gotta figure out what this. So Jin would have been UV, so thank God. So the only other thing I need to bring up here is Spirit Box. Was that even on? Okay, it's on now, but come on, give us a sign. I already have a ghost photo, so I don't need that. This is where I could like go to the truck and look at the camera. You're really messing with stuff over here. Actually, well, actually, the EMF-5 can detect it from pretty far away. What did you touch? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not going to try and take a photo. It was something up on there. Please write or something. See, the dots in here is kind of what's hard. I could get the other one. So maybe I'll get the other dots up here. Get the spirit box. I have a weird feeling this is going to be spirit box. What are these noises? I'm going to leave that set up like this. I'm gonna drop my camera, drop this. So let's go get another dots, the spirit box, and maybe even another smudge up here. Now really, I should have looked at that crucifix. I don't know if it's used up its other charge. I, I did take sanity, so I'm above hunt range, I believe, for all these ghosts. Oh my god, the breaker too. I didn't even think about taking the breaker on the way down, but it's really fine. I don't mind, like, I'm, I expect to get hunted again here, and I kind of want to, just to, again, get used to surviving. I really want to practice surviving hunts as much as I can on any map, because it really, what map you're on can make a difference. And look, we're at 50%. So I need two more. I want to get that salt in there for easy photos. Now, yeah, this doesn't help too much. We know it's not even going to be ghost orbs. Uh, maybe it'll be spirit box. What would it be? Yeah, I should just get spirit box if that's what I think it is. So let's leave the dots. I'm gonna get the salt for the photos. Okay, well the problem is though, there's a crucifix that should stop a hunt, but I'm in hunt range. So, <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna have a lot of time. I really should have had like another crucifix, but I have two smudges. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just smudge when I get up there, and I'll use that time to figure out this ghost. Talk to it on the spirit box. And I'm going to put salt down to, like, protect myself. Because it's supposed to slow it down, so I'll put salt 
on some of these stairs going down. But I, I think I want to put it up as well. Although I don't know if I'm going to go up there. Also, I wanted to be turning on these lights, but it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, yeah, turn on the lights. There. Okay, please. It's hunting. Sounds kind of... Is that the twins a little bit faster? See, I still, that's another thing I don't know. It sounded a little bit faster than normal, at least to me, but maybe it was normal speed. I'm going to sit here, and if I hear the ghost coming closer, I'm going to slam this door... And then go up there while it was hunting for a while, then, wasn't it? Or, how, was I able to turn the breaker on during a hunt? Because that was a pretty short hunt if... I don't know what happened there. But I'm getting these lights back on. I'm gonna bet that crucifix was used up. Oh my god, the dots through the floor. I'm not using my headlight here. I'm gonna put one here in case it comes down. I'm gonna put one here. And I'm even... I'm just gonna, like, put one here. So that way, it'll... If it's during a hunt, it'll at least slow down. That's probably not a hunt. Because I think it's... Well... Oh my god, no, it's definitely a hunt. I'm trying to listen. But if it gets slowed down, then... I think it's the twins still. I feel like... Is that the little bit faster, twins? It sounds like a little bit faster than normal, but maybe that's just normal speed, and I don't even remember what normal speed is anymore. It's not like I get to hear it too often. Okay, you are not going to give me an opportunity. What I need to do, actually, is get back up there and smudge. So as soon as I get up here, I don't have my sprint, but here, here's a smudge. You are definitely smudged now. Hopefully even up there. I want to grab my big light. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Yeah, jeez. Okay, I, I do think that's the little bit faster speed. Alright. I have an opportunity here. Disturb salt. Disturb salt. So there's all three star photos. This should be a perfect game, but I still want to mess around with this ghost a little bit more. What I'm going to do, I don't want to go up. Let's walk downstairs. So my hiding spot was just, oh god, I, did you turn the breaker off again? Well, luckily it's right here. I'm going to try and get it down to the workshop, and that's where I'm going to smudge. And then I'm going to go all the way downstairs, and then I'm probably just going to go all the way down to the first floor. Because I'm probably going to escape after this one and just take the perfect game, because last time we lost. I don't know how much of the smudge is left. Do I have an inventory slot here? <laughs> I'm taking this guy with me for protection. Alright, I'm coming for you, ghost. I gotta really remember. Yeah, there, my headlight is off. I want to survive one more hunt against you, because I want to pr not protect. I want to practice s smudging and then getting away from the ghost on this map. And it's going to be interesting to see if it can even see me. Like, I think it blocks line of sight. Like, it can't see through this, so it won't see you unless you're standing, like, right here. So maybe I'll... It's going to be a weird one. I wonder if this could, like, interact with it in my hand. I'm going to see if it will. Play with that shark for me. Actually, I really should have my smudge out. That's another thing I'm trying to practice is differentiating from my damn headlight and my actual flashlight. Now, oh, look, you threw that and closed it. Are you here? <laughs> Thing is, though, maybe I'll... S it's so weird how line of sight works, because this is... You're kind of safe in terms of, like, if I'm standing all the way down here, this is... I've done this before. If you're standing down here, the ghost is not going to see you through this. Like, this is basically a solid wall here. You'd think the ghost could see through that. But if you want the ghost to actually see you... Like, I mean, going down the staircase, you really do break line of sight a lot. I didn't even really notice that or kind of consider it. I think that's not... Is it? Oh my god, there's some shark. Okay, there. He, he even did what I wanted to. He turned right back around. Okay, speaking of what I wanted to do. <laughs> I think it's back down to normal speed. I saw those lights. I'm just going. We, we already know. We have the three evidence. I'm going to get out of here and <laughs> take what I've done here as an experience and just be like, you know what, at least I survived. I'm still trying to do a lot of hunts and just 
practice smudging and getting away, and then of course hiding, and actually surviving. I've had a lot of times where I've hidden and then died, but I feel like I've been doing alright recently enough. And also, we have a good amount of money saved up, and I think that's mainly because of doing a couple of the weeklies, but I don't know, I have like 25 maybe now saved up. And okay, so there, there's another visit to Point Home. Uh, every time I play it, I do kind of like it a bit more. It's not a super good map, but I don't know. It's got its unique gimmick. Alright, so speaking about like the normal speeds and stuff, I really have... I play... I'm, that's my point. I want to play this game so much that I truly do know the normal speed, and I am getting there. I do feel like I was right in saying that that was the slightly faster ghost, and then at the very end there, that hunt, I think, was normal speed. So, for once, I was kind of right about the twins' different speeds. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.